comes another one. Hear that? The sound of Big Ben. Ah, London, don't you just love it? But it isn't really London, is it? No, it's a backdrop. Ah! And we're at Tamara Morrison's Backdrop Studio. Come on, let's meet her now. Tamara! Hi, Ben. Good to see you. What is this place? Tell us. This is our painting studio, our fine art mural painting studio. What do you use these big things for? Well, the photographers and the filmmakers come over here and they rent them for their TV shoots and their still photography magazine ads. And they're 12 by 20. Mm -hmm. And we put it up where it's, it's raw canvas and we put it up, we staple it up, and then we have to prime it two or three times. And then we start painting it. We have 1,600 paintings here for rent. I think I'm almost the largest in the United States. Almost. Has the general public maybe seen a backdrop of yours? Every day yeah. in TV commercials. They're all the time. Everything for Sears, Spiegel's, and Ward's was ours for years. Anderson windows. They have an Anderson window up, and then they like put our backdrop behind it. So you think you're outside, you know? You started with 200 or so. I started with one. <laughs> The very first one was um, actually a Ralston Purina bag, a dog chow bag cover. And I bought the airbrush that day. I didn't know how to airbrush it, and I said, oh, sure, I know how to airbrush. I bought the airbrush that day and did it. I painted the first 300 of them myself oh. alone. And then I realized it was so much work, it was killing me. So I had to hire s some help. This is Elaine Miller. Hi, Elaine. Hi. This is Amy Moore. Oh. Hi. How you doing? Miss Nicole over here. Hi, how are you? And over here we have Adair. You must be Gerald. Yes, how are you? Thank God we got a muscle man around here. She's a maniac. You know that, she don't is. you? Yeah. <laughs> What's the feeling about working in commercial art versus any romantic ideas you might have about fine art and being in galleries and all that? I don't think that there's a distinction. Yeah, and I love to paint, so it doesn't really matter sometimes what I'm painting to me. Not really. You know, a lot of artists are not getting to actually do their what they really love because it doesn't make money. Yeah. So lucky me, I figured out a way to paint beautiful pa art every day and make a living in it. She gives young artists a chance to work in an artistic medium and you don't have to work at a restaurant, eh? Sounds good to me. <laughs> now when you enter Tamara's studio, you come into this space and there are a lot of nice paintings here. Where'd you get those? These are, uh, several of them are copies of old Pompeii walls and um, actually we do c um, fine art paintings for private homes and for corporations and for museums and restaurants. Like this one up here, Paramount, the uh, Untouchables, asked for this and they put it in the scene where Al Capone was shot. So uh, who, who uh, ordered this and what did they use it for? Actually, um, this was going to be for a client in a private home in Hinsdale mm -hmm. and unfortunately the couple got divorced and canceled the job. So I ended up with this wonderful tapestry and I'm fine with that. <laughs> So they're famous paintings and you copy them? Actually, a lot of times we'll take four or five famous paintings and combine them all into one so that I avoid the copyright problem. So this is one that has a number of different paintings all rolled into it? That's right. Um, Delacroix, Corot, and a Jasper Johns. Tamara, what other movies were your backdrops in? Richie Rich. Richie Rich, how about that? Hey, wait a minute. There's going to be another... That's Dan Decker. Dan, screenwriters group. What are you doing here? We're shooting a scene over here. Competition. Yeah. Kill. Is this the director? Hi, who are you? Yes, I'm Brian Dukes. Call it, Brian. All right. Action. Du sprichst kein Deutsch? Was ist los mit dir, dass du nicht Deutsch sprichst? Ich bin nicht Französisch. Ich bin Französisch. Chief Deep Dish very upset. This once was my home. Yeah, that, that's too bad. Open an interdimensional hailing frequency, First Officer Thompson. Right, Captain. It's too late. They've already boarded us. Do you guys uh, know where there's a Starbucks around here? Oh, yeah. On Oak and Rush. All right. Thank you. Insert tear here. Don't you have a customer somewhere to attend to? What happens if your husband never recovers, Belle? What will you do then? Honest work. What's the background? Where are we set right here? 
bordello style. <laughs> you created a bordello. Oh my God, it's a copy of a 16th century French tapestry band. Does working in these kind of canvases where you can basically go anywhere in the world give you kind of a geographic fix whenever you need one? Oh yeah, definitely. You get to, while you're painting, you, you get to feel you're in the space. Second Deutsch. My head. This is the real paint shop in here. We use like gallons and gallons of paint every week. It's amazing. And we tint, the, um, we tint our own paint every day. So we don't go to the paint store and order like, you know, Ben Moore number 232. We make our own paint like 20 or 30 colors a day. And one of those wild shaking machines? No, we don't have one of those shoot machines. Okay. We just use our, um, we use our paint sticks and we use buckets and like, you know, we mix our own. Ah. <laughs> Ah, are all 1600 on the website? You bet. That's what's so exciting. I'm never going to go into printing again. <laughs> nice backdrop. Wait a minute. You're trying to fool me.